will go on and win win the IPL. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> Three dimensional, not three D player. <laughs> not anymore. Not. Hello and welcome to a new episode of Silly Point. So today we're going to continue with our IPL preview series, and we will discuss the second batch of the most successful IPL teams. Uh, KKR, who obviously won two IPLs. Uh, and Sunrise's Hyderabad, who won one and then nearly came to winning one in uh, 2018. So we're going to have a discussion about both these franchises, uh, discuss their chances and, of course, their uh, playing 11s. So as always, G here, the main man. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think we'll just get straight into it. And, and, and as always, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Let us know in your comments uh, who you think uh, should start for each of these teams and, and what their chances are. Look forward to to your feedback. Um, so we'll get straight into it. G, uh, let's start with KKR. Yeah, one of my so, um, favorites, I'd say. Not in terms of winning, uh, but in terms of likability. Uh, since the first IPL, since the Shweb Akhtar days, I've had a you know a soft corner for them. Yeah. Um, you know, this time led by Brendan McCullum off the pitch. I think that's a big factor. Yeah. Um, so, so we move on to to that. Uh, a very good squad again. You know, good depth. Uh, very strong middle order. Uh, so, how do you a rate their chances, and then b you know we'll, we'll discuss the um, the starting 11s. Yeah. No, I agree. Ever since um, <clears throat> ever since Gautam Gambhir took over the captaincy, I think in 2010-11, um, when they rebranded themselves, they picked uh, better players, more consistent players. Um, I think KKR have been one of the better franchises in the IPL. Uh, I agree. I, I also enjoy watching them play. Uh, the talent that they have, like you mentioned, obviously they're led off the pitch by Brendan McCullum, who's just coming off a CPL title win. So I think that just adds to the you know adds to the chances for KKR. I think it, you know, in my opinion, I think yeah. KKR might end up winning this one. Oh, wow. um, you know, when we when we come to discussing their starting eleven. Uh, you know, I feel like they probably have the strongest starting eleven in the IPL. Um, yeah. They have a few weaknesses, and we can come to that when we discuss their bench strength and you know who who might be the who might be the key players for them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I feel that KKR have it in them to go all the way this year. Uh, yeah, I mean, I sort of would like to agree, and and you know because they're a very strong team. Uh, and I think the good the good thing with them is obviously their their West Indian contingent. Um, the Ryan and Russell are obviously two big players, coming off uh, you know successful CPL performances individually at least. Yeah. And also their overall franchise, uh, you know the the Trebago Knight Riders, winning the, uh, the the CPL. So maybe they have some some franchise goodwill going <laughs> going their way also. And I do read the chances. I think you know we'll come to the starting 11s uh, and when we'll pick up on their weaknesses. Yeah. But I think you know they are for me also right up there at least um, top top three you know top two definitely. Yeah, I mean I like I mentioned previously I see Mumbai going to the finals uh, with yeah. KKR, and I did mention that I don't see Mumbai winning it, and I, I feel that like <laughs> KKR will win it this time. So that's that's for me you know they'll be in the top four, and yeah. they will get into the finals. That's that's what I feel. That's that's where they'll get to, and then they'll go on and win win the IPL. You heard it here first <laughs> on City Point. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's see, let's see. I I'm reserving my IPL winning predictions for another team for one of our future episodes. So stay tuned for those. <laughs> um, well, should we get to the starting eleven? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, I think the good thing with KK, I think, is they've got a few uh, young Indian players. So they've got a good balance of obviously foreign players that we mentioned. So obviously, they'll probably start with Shubman Gill to to open the batting. Yeah, um, along with Sunil Narayan. Yeah, um, I think that is always the the interesting choice. But I think now, especially in T20 cricket, even in the uh, in the CPL, he's been consistently opening the batting. So I think that's uh, that's uh, pretty much a shoe in. And I guess that that kind of helps them because it, it'll give someone like a Gill to you know settle in. Rather yeah. than you know go bang bang straight away. If, if Narayan gets going, then you know you need you, you don't need someone from the other end to do the same. So he I can agree. just bat through. And and I'm happy for Gil because he's actually getting to bat in his in his preferred opening position. Actually, really looking forward to watching Shubman Gil. You know, obviously we discussed him in our World um, 2027 11 
yeah. you know, one of our picks for that. And it'll be really good to see, you know, some young Indian talent coming through. Yeah. Then if we move on to the middle order, I think like with most teams, there's all, you know, lots, lots of flexibility depending on the start that they get. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think the, the base case will probably be someone like Nitesh Rana at, at three. Yeah. Who's been an IPL veteran. You know, he's, he's been around for, for a few years. Um, yeah. Has improved a lot. I think, you know, in, in the first couple of years, his strike rate was, was a big question, but I think he's improved his game. Yeah. So it'll be good to see him um, bat. Uh, but then I think that middle order, you know, that, that strong core of um, Owen Morgan, um, uh, Andre Russell, and Dinesh Karthik, uh, yeah. you know, four, five, six, yeah. or potentially three, four, five, depending on what the situation is. Oh, I agree. I mean, middle order wise, I think AKR have got you know the best middle order in the IPL with Morgan, Russell, and and Dinesh Karthik. My personal opinion. Yeah, would always be to bat Morgan at three, mm-hmm. and Russell at four, irrespective of the situation. That's that's what I think. I mean, I've mentioned this before. I feel your best players should get as much time as possible out in the middle. Yeah, you can have Nitesh Rana at five, followed by Dinesh Karthik at six. Uh, and then number seven is is an interesting one, right? Because the problem with because you already have Russell at well in the, in the top four or five. Yeah. Then they'll struggle. You don't have another sort of proper all-rounder, right? So they either they go with a specialist yeah. batsman or they go with a bowling all-rounder like Pat Cummins, who they've spent a lot of money on. Money on. I mean, Pat, I, I feel like man. Pat Cummins, he, he will be in the starting 11. Yeah. No doubt about that. He will be in the starting 11. The question is whether he bats at 7 or 8. Personally, I'd go down the route of picking a specialist batsman. Someone yeah. like uh, Rinku Singh, who's also quite young. And in the limited opportunities that he got in, in the previous IPLs, he's done well. He's yeah. aggressive as well. So, I would probably bat him at seven. And it, yeah. it allows KKR to keep going with a left, uh, left-handed, left right-handed combination of batsmen. Yeah. yeah. So, then maybe Rinku Singh at seven and followed by Pat Cummins at eight. Yeah. Uh, and then I think we probably move into the, the weakness that, that we mentioned you know, for them. Yeah. Uh, they have Kuldeep Yadav, obviously, a, a very good spin option. But I think in the last year, especially since that 2019 game against England in the World Cup, his yeah, form has sort of, you know, gone yeah, down. It's, it's nosedived significantly, but <clears throat> hopefully yeah. the break, you know, the, the break that he's got because of COVID, yeah. that's helped that's helped him settle down a little bit, you know, relax yeah. a little bit and trust his trust his game much more. So I'm hoping that he'll come good this time round. Yeah, I look, look forward to, to seeing him. Again, maybe the UA pitches might suit him. Uh, you yeah. Know, spinning tracks. And then, because I mean, they've already got um, you know their four overseas players um, sorted. Yeah. So, this, so then we move into the the, weak, the weakest link, you know, in my opinion, it yeah, is their true. domestic fast bowling. Yeah. Um, and to be honest, I mean, would, you know, maybe they go with with uh, another spinner, the the mystery of uh, Varun Chakravarti, but yeah, or they go with two two young pacers. But e- either way, I think they're you know they're not. Um, World beaters yet, I'd say. Uh, with apologies yeah. to, to to our KKR fans, but uh, no, that that's 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 fair because yeah. uh, uh, the Pacers that they have, so guys like yeah. Kamlesh Nagarkoti, he was injured, I think, yeah. what two years in a row, so he didn't play yeah. for IPL. He didn't play for KKR for two years. Shiva Shiva Mavi played a few games last year. His economy wasn't that great, and he struggled yeah. to get wickets. Um, there's a guy called Prasid Krishna who did yeah. play regularly for KKR, but then. Um, you know, he had some good games, he had some bad games, so quite inconsistent. Yeah. There's another bowler called Sandeep Warrior, who's yeah. who's uh, played for Kerala and done quite well. Um, so they've got they've got a lot of talent there, a yeah. lot of potential um, with these young bowlers. But there's a question mark. You know, they haven't played enough, they haven't performed well enough. Yeah. But again, you know, I'll I'll go with the word potential. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of potential there, and. Um, if if out of these four bowlers, you know, one one or two have a decent enough season, yeah. KKR have got enough from the overseas players and from the other players to kind of cover the rest yeah. of it, cover the rest of the performance. So yeah, I think I think they'll probably go down the line of uh, picking Kamlesh Nagarkoti and maybe someone like Sandeep Oriya. I yeah. think that combination would be good. Or like you said, because they're playing in the UAE, they might go down the route of picking someone like Varun Chakravarti, who's Who's a, yeah. who's a mystery bowler? He didn't he didn't play much in the last IPL. He bowled what he bowled yeah. And we heard a lot. We heard a lot about it. He went for a lot of money. He went to Kings yes. Eleven, didn't he? He went, uh, he went to Kings Eleven for, for a lot, lot of money, money, and he didn't really yeah. do do much. 
Well, he, he bowled two overs. I think Narayan, in fact, was the one who actually hammered him. I think yeah. two overs for 25 or something like that. Yeah. And then he didn't bowl in that game and then he got injured. And he never got back into the, you know, yeah. he never uh, recovered and never then got back into the uh, starting 11. So, yeah. um, bit of a weird story. And then to come back and play for KKR, hopefully he's learned how yeah. to control Narayan in the nets. Um, yeah. <laughs> and that will just help. That will just help KKR out there in the matches. Yeah. So yeah, they could do that as well. They yeah, but also I think I think most spinners. Al- already having Kuldeep and Narayan, they might not need a third spinner. But 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 yeah, it depends on conditions. You know, they it might depends need on to... conditions. Um, the other thing I think that uh, KKR have lacked a little bit is captaincy. Yeah. I think Gambhir was a brilliant captain. Uh, so obviously Dinesh Karthik has led the last two years. Um, yeah. I think he's still learning how yeah. to captain well. Um, and I think Karthik has a tendency to be quite short term with his decisions. Yeah. I think he's quite restless. So if something doesn't work, he wants to change it quickly and move on to the next thing. So I think he needs to be a little more calm and maybe someone like Owen Morgan there can help him. Yeah. Yes. Help, and also help him stick to his guns. Yeah. And also having Brendan McCallum, I think, uh, in, I in the background will, will be a big um, help yeah. for him. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think that I agree. And you know, moving on to, I guess, their uh, bench, I think that, that's also very good. They have lots yeah. of good like for like replacements. I mean, Morgan, if he is having a bad tournament, uh, then they have Tom Banton who can come in. Uh, yeah. One of uh, you know, again, he's had a very good summer, at least in in the Pakistan <laughs> series. Not not quite so against Australia. Um, they have uh, Lockie Ferguson who can come in for pa- Pat Cummins. Right. Um, They've also brought in Ali Khan, who's, yeah. who's going to be the first um, will be the first US player to uh, be picked by an IPL team. Um, and he's again done well in the CPL. He's played for Tobango Knight Riders, so Narayan and Makalim know him pretty well. Um, yeah. the, the, the you know the, the KKR management know him well, uh, so that's a good addition, I feel. Um, and then yeah, they've also got a uh, Chris Green, yeah. who actually is a brilliant power play bowler. So again, if Narayan is injured or he's struggling, yeah. then you can replace him with Chris Green and get Chris Green to bowl like three overs in the power play. Again, he's done very well in the CPL, and he's also captained. Uh, the Guyana Amazon Warriors in the CPL and they reached the semis. So I think that's, that's again, that goes well for them. Um, so yeah, lots of options. Um, and I agree, you know, KKR you know, looked like the team to beat in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, so who do you think uh, are the key players to watch out for? Uh, I think Owen Morgan. Uh, I mean, you know, I think he is going to be a key, key, key batsman for them. If he fires, he can be more destructive uh, than even someone like Andre Russell. I think if he gets going, he can yeah. get you a 70, 80, and 30 balls, and you know he can yeah. completely change the game around. Um, sure. So he'll be a very, very uh, key player to watch. Yeah, I mean, for me, I can't look beyond Sunil Narayan for the all-round yeah. package he offers. Um, yeah. You know, his bowling obviously is incredible. I think his batting is underrated as well. Yeah, he reeled off two uh, back-to-back half centuries in the CPL in the first two games. He was pretty yeah. rusty, right? Not not much cricket, and he came in yeah. and just smashed the bowling. So I think his all round value is right up there. Um, and then I would also uh, give a shout out to uh, Shubman Gill. Yeah, really looking forward to his his batting and how he goes uh, opening the batting. So I think those two uh, will be the standout for me. Uh, will be the key players to watch out. Yeah, for, basically. And it'll be it'll be very interesting to watch, especially Morgan uh, and Ryan with explosive hitting. Uh, and uh, speaking of explosive hitting, I think we can move on to sun- sunrisers. <laughs> sunrisers, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, sunrisers. You you probably have to say that they have such a, a lopsided team. Yeah. In terms of you know their top order, I I don't think there could be any franchisee ever in the world to have you know that kind of top order with uh, you know Warner, Johnny Best, and Kane Williamson. Uh, uh, RCB fans, then, RCB fans will disagree, but <laughs> <laughs> but no, I I still think on on current form, yeah, uh, in, in T20s, you know, Johnny Best or David Warner and Kane Williamson, my God, yeah. that that top three is is incredible. Yeah. But then they, you know, then they've got certain weaknesses, yeah. uh, you know, that show up in other areas because they've got such a strong top order and yeah. they use up three overseas slots there. Yeah. Um, and maybe that maybe we should just directly go into the starting eleven. And then talk about their chances and and you yeah. know, key players to watch out for. So again, I don't think they'd pick yeah. anyone other than Warner, Williamson, and Best. I'm, I, to be honest, I'm 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 not hundred percent sure on Williamson starting. To be honest, because because of that overseas contingent thing that you mentioned, 
because yeah. it's become really, really constrained. And obviously, we know who the fourth overseas player is going to be. Uh, spoiler yeah. alert, it's going to be Rashid Khan. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I think they're really constrained. So I, I think they might not start with Williamson because they have decent uh, Indian batting depth. Uh, I think Riddhi Mansaha, he's opened in the past also. So I think he, yeah. can, he can come in at three. And then Manish Pandey at four. So if, if you ask me, I think that's, that's the combination they'll go with. So obviously, Warner Bears to the top. Um, yeah, yeah. And then uh, I mean, if, and if, Pandey. I would say that if if um, they go down the route of playing Besto, then Besto can keep quite easily. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But then on the flip side, I'm just thinking they're playing in the UAE. Yeah. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't expect Besto to be brilliant standing up to the keepers. Yeah. So, you know, maybe along the Especially to Rashid Khan. Make, yeah, especially to someone like Rashid Khan. So, yeah, maybe they go down the route of going with Besto, Warner, followed by Radhiman Sahai at three and Manish Pandey at four. Yeah, I think they will. I personally think that that's what they'll go with. Um, yeah. And then we'll then come on to, yeah, to the middle order. I think then I mean, yeah. probably Vijay Shankar will play five. Five, yeah. I agree. In India's number four, <laughs> the, the <laughs> three dimensional, not the 3D player. <laughs> not anymore, not anymore. Clearly, that was a. Um, an error in judgment by the selectors <laughs> back then. Um, he, he's a good player, no doubt. Yeah. But I, you know, I don't think he's he's a number four for India. Uh, so yeah, he's. I think he fits pretty well here at five. He can bowl a few overs, uh, play a few big shots towards the end. Um, the number six spot is a bit of a question mark for me yeah. because at seven, then you know you can play an all rounder in Mohammad Nabi, yeah. uh, Mitchell Marsh, or even Fabian Allen. Yeah, exactly. I think depending on the conditions, they probably it's probably. The first choice is either Nabi or Marsh, depending on conditions. If they, if they need a pace, so Marsh has, has done well again in, in the England series so far. Yeah. So he might uh, he might have earned a spot. Personally, I'll just go with Mohammad Nabi at seven. Yeah. To bring in the Afghanistan, uh, the Afghani uh, supporters <laughs> uh, to draw them in, but no, no. Um, yeah, obviously, have we have to um, d- disclaimer. Obviously, Shakib Hassan is missing. Otherwise, that debate probably would have been sorted there and then, right? Yeah. Would have yeah. Six, five or six. And yeah. given you four overs, but uh, unfortunately, he's not available. He's not available. Agreed. So, so yeah. So, Nabi at seven, Rashid Khan at eight. And yeah. then, you know, you've probably got your three Indian pacers. Yeah. Uh, Bhuvaneshwar Kumar, Sandeep Sharma and Khalil Ahmed. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so that... So, I mean, that, it's, it's, it's a decent pace attack. Not the strongest, I'd say. Bhuvaneshwar depends on him. You know, he's been in, you know, he's been in and out of the Indian team also, you know, recently. How yeah. is he going to come back? Uh, yeah. And obviously, Khalil and Sandeep, you know, IPL, they've got some IPL experience, but not, not at the international level. Then we're back to yeah. the um, the number six number position. Six. So, yeah, n- n- number six is, is, is a question mark. I mean, they could go down the route of playing an all rounder. So, there's a guy called Abhishek Sharma, who's, yeah. you know, who's, who's uh, I think he's 19 or 20. Uh, but yeah. He bowled pretty well in the few chances he got in the last couple of IPLs. He's a uh, slow left armor. Um, yeah. And a decent bat as well. Or they could go down the route of playing someone like Abdul Samad, who is yeah. another up-and-coming player. He's a very, very big hitter. He's done well in the recent domestic tournaments uh, in India. Um, so, they could play him as well. Yeah, I think but, Abdul but Samad is a, yeah, someone who I think, you know, he, he's, he's he had a couple of good um, explosive innings. So, I think maybe uh, he, he could be him. But yeah, what, what were you saying? Yeah, no, I was just saying that yeah. I would go down the route of playing Abdul Samad just yeah. because he's that he's that big hitter. Um, yeah. And he also bowled some decent leg spin, apparently. Um, okay. And he's yeah. been handpicked by VVS Lakshman. So, there must be something there. Yeah. You know, there must be something there. So, I'd go with him. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I agree. Uh, yeah. And then, um, I, mean, I guess the, the other problem with them is is their bench strength. Uh, obviously, yeah. we mentioned Kane Williamson, who can come in maybe for either, either of the top two. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you know, if, if they play all three, Kane Williamson versus one of them, they have to drop Nabi and then their middle order gets a bit weak. Yeah. Um, so that balance and, and I think the, the issue for them obviously because of the Warner Bearstow combination at the top, they're limited in, in their foreign replacements. I mean they have Billy Stanley who can come in, but then he's he's a pace bowler. They don't have any foreign pace bowlers who who he's gonna play yeah. for. Yeah. Um, and that's that that's why I said at the beginning when yeah. we started with SRH, I said, you know, they're a little lopsided in yeah. that they've only got Indian medium paces. Yeah. And none of them are like express pace. Yeah. Um, you've got Khalil Ahmed, obviously, who's a left armor, so that's a bit yeah. of variation. But apart from that, all of them are relatively similar. They bowl, you know, one between 130, 140. Uh, yeah. On the bench, you'll have guys like uh, Basil Thumpy, who, yeah. who played well in a few games, but then, um, you know, after that, he kind of was very expensive. Uh, yeah. He's a good Yorker bowler. He's got some decent slower balls. Um, you've got another guy called T. Metrajan, who's a left armor. 
So again, they've got they they have like for like replacements. Yeah. Um. Uh, they've they've got another young batsman called Virat Singh. Yeah. Um, but he's an opener again. There doesn't seem to be any place yeah. for these young Indian openers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even uh, even someone like Mitchell Mitchell Marsh, right? I mean, he's he's probably the replacement for someone like Vijay Shankar, who's a, a, yeah. a medium pacer, medium pace all rounder. Yeah. But obviously, you know, with with again that that limitation on foreign players, and they'll have to drop Nabi and then play, you know, one of the other batsmen that that, that we mentioned. Yeah. Um, so that they are slightly, uh, you know, lopsided as 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 you mentioned. Who do you think is going to be their key player? Their key player. Personally, I can't look beyond David Warner. Like every time he's captain for Sunrisers, he has, you know, he's done really well with the bat yeah. and he's led, you know, led by example. So yeah, yeah I feel David Warner. Um, I think he's going to have a, a very big part to play. As someone who's scoring 500 runs consistently in the last three or four IPLs or five yeah. IPLs, except for the one that he missed, obviously. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think we have. Definitely, the Warners want to watch, but I I can't look beyond Rashid Khan. Uh, <laughs> um, but, you know, I'll I'll tell you the thing about Rashid Khan nowadays is even in the CPL, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, batsmen have now understood, yeah. you know, what he brings to the table. So yeah. all they try and do is they try and play him out. Yeah. So Rashid Khan consistently has gone as bold, you know, four overs for twenty runs and one wicket. Yeah. You know, he he's probably not going to get the bucket loads of wickets that you expect. Also, his batting is useful. I think his uh, he yeah. gets some useful. We mentioned <laughs> we mentioned Sunil and Narayan earlier. I think he's yeah. in a similar mold. I think he's a uh, not 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 that he's he's going to open the batting, but I think he, he can also you know, tonk it around and get some useful runs at the end. Uh, and obviously, you know, everyone knows his bowl. Even if it go, even if he bowls, you know, four overs for sixteen, seventeen, yeah. I'd take that right because that's a massive difference. That's you know, true. That in twenty, that makes yeah. yeah, that makes a big difference. So that just leaves 16 overs for your position to score, you know, 170, 180 if you're looking to get 200. Um, of course, that's much harder to do. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, so that's so. That, that's a big plus. I think that that's why he he will be key. And because of that, I think again, over dependence on on their their top order. And I think on yeah. Rashid Khan for me, Sunrisers Hyderabad uh, will be. I mean, I don't want I don't like saying this, but I don't think they'll make it to the top five, uh, the top four. Um, top, I, I agree. I was going to say they're probably going to come in fifth. Yeah. You know that seems like a fair reflection of their, um, you know, of their team because they're so top heavy. They've got weaknesses in the middle order and and uh, and the bowling. Um, you know, obviously apart from Rashid Khan, um, but because of those two reasons, I think they're going to come fifth. Yeah. And until they don't address this balance issue that they have, um, you know, I think they're going to struggle. Unless, unless obviously they have a, you know, one or two players have a brilliant season and yeah. they carry the team through. Yeah. That can happen with any team actually. Yeah. But based on, you know, the, the the information that's available to us, I think they're going to be, you know, they're going to be number five. Yeah. Um, obviously, we didn't mention I, I, yeah. John. Yeah, we didn't mention Johnny Bairstow, but I think he uh, he's had an inconsistent summer so far. You know, he's had one good innings and two bad innings. So if he if that keeps going, then I'm not sure. You know, that's. That's gonna help help them. Uh, even I, I don't I don't see that changing. To be honest, yeah. I think he's going to be hit and miss. Yeah. You know, um, it, it's going to carry on because he's playing in the UAE. Yeah. Right. The ball is going to turn. There's going to be yeah. you know they're, they're going to be sluggish pitches. Um, yeah. So I think that's just going to contribute to you know Johnny Besto <laughs> carrying on that form. You know, <laughs> and you know actually that that means that we've kind of picked our top five teams already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, no, I, I haven't. I haven't yet. I haven't yet. <laughs> you're right, because you're not sure about KKR. I, I know. I'm not sure about CSK. I, CSK. I, 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 I thought. I think CSK won't finish in the top uh, top four. Okay. But um, so yeah. So far from 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 our discussions, we've had MI, um, KKR. KKR. Uh, no, it's only two, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Two. Well, in my in my head, yeah, I you have CSK as well because I said CSK. Um, yeah. And then and then obviously. You know, I said actually not top five. We've got, we've got, I've got four out of the five teams in my mind. Obviously, there's one team that we'll do a preview for later that I feel deserves to be in the top four. Obviously, you you feel there are two teams <laughs> potentially. So yeah. maybe we'll we'll come to the, we'll come to that in the in the in, future in, our, in the future, future episodes. Previews. Yeah, yeah. No, we'll uh, we'll come on to those. But but that's um, what we think. Let us know your thoughts. Um, who you, are your key players for both KKR and Sunrisers? Uh, and where do you think they'll finish in the IPL and what, what are their respective chances? Um, and if you agree, disagree with us, are we being too harsh on <laughs> Sunrisers not qualifying for the playoffs? Uh, but, you know, this is just our opinion. 
uh, if you don't like it then uh, let us know what you think <laughs> so thanks for watching as always please do like here and subscribe to our channel um, and let us know if you'd like to see anything else any feedback um, thank you thank you